Hey there everyone, this is Tom from Montac here doing the weekly Montac roundup for July 12th. Let's get right into it. We had a lot of interesting matches this weekend, but you know what? Why wait? So the first match we had was the rookie rank 14 Dan B taking on rank 19 Crowler. Both using Sunwalkers, really great match there. It was very close. Uh, both players were really struggling to get those health points in the last moments, uh, and they both got out their Vixens. Uh, but ultimately, Dan B scraped in the win. He did beat Crowler, advancing now. He will be making top eight this weekend, and Crowler will not make top 12. Uh, so then we also get in the next match, rank 6 Tamus taking on rank 16 Charging Badger. Uh, Tamus, both of them using Sky Soldiers, a Sky Soldier Bandit on Tamus's side, uh, and pure Sky Soldiers for Charging Badger. Both players had their moments uh, with the young rookie pushing Badger to the very limit, but uh, his experience showed through with uh, Badger getting the win with just one health point difference. Uh, so Charging Badger will make top 8, and Tamus will unfortunately not. Next match, rank 18, Tail Suite vs. rank 20, Fury Card Battle Zone. Um, Fury Card using the Sunwalkers, Tail Suite using Tarotians. Um, Fury Card started off in a little bit of a rough spot, having his health be at 3 to Tail Suite's 15. Um, but in a comeback for the ages, he brought about by a double Elizabeth play, a Magma Champion, and a regeneration. Fury Card was able to gain control and finish the game with 15 to Tail Suite's 13. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Fury Card from Nigeria is now the first player from Africa to make top 8. Uh, and Tails will leave the top 12. Uh, unfortunately, he won't make top 12. Uh, and let's get into the next match. Rank 7 Squishy versus Rank 5 Doozy. Now, this was going to be a Sunwalker match versus uh, Doozy's Angel Bandits. But in the last moment, Doozy changed decks to Sunwalkers. Now... While it may have been a little bit of an interesting play there, it did cost him dearly as Squishy, the Sunwalker Specialist, was able to perform a clinic, as to say, uh, and just end up taking the win very quickly. Uh, Squishy will be making top 8, of course. Uh, he'll actually be making top 5, uh, and Doozy will unfortunately not be. <clears throat> now let's get on to the title match. We had Rank 1 Misfire, the champion, the Divine Commander, taking on Rank 2 Rich Potato, Unbroken Rich Potato. Misfire with his Dragon Angels and Rich Potato deciding to try out the Steel Edge. And I say try out because he had no practices with it. Um, he had built a deck and unfortunately he wasn't able to get anyone to help him out with the practices. So we really came into a title match with very little practice and a lot of rust into this match. Um, it definitely showed. So after a tough start, his deck started breaking. Uh, it was just a very hard match and uh, he was forced to forfeit. So... Misfire retains as the Montac TCG champion and ladder leader, and Rich Patel will unfortunately leave the top five. Let's get into the second last match. Um, we got rank three Shadow Galaxy Wolf and rank four Apocalyptic Shadow Galaxy Wolf using the Trotians to Apocalyptic Sunwalker Steel Edge. Uh, it was very back and forth with neither player really having the upper hand until an extra time where Shadow Wolf was able to outlast Apocalyptic's last synergy to win the game with her Vixen that only had one turn left. Absolutely major game there. Uh, it was incredibly close. Absolutely blew me away. Uh, that was the contender match. So this is that was a massive win for Shadow there. Um, she's now going to be taking on Misfire, becoming the first female competitor to reach the title scene. And not only that, be the first Tarotian player to reach the title scene. So a massive moment for her. Um, and so we got to the final match, which was Rank 17, Wrath of Cause, and Rank 8, Zweistein. Um, Wrath of Cause using Sky Soldier, and Zweistein going back to Tarotian, which was an interesting change. Um, you know, this time this was a big rematch, but... Uh, you know, the winner is going to make top five. Uh, and this time, there were no draws. So in the first match, there was a draw. Now, there are not going to be any draws. Because uh, Vice was able to shut down Wrath's offense and win the match just before extra time. So, Vice will make top five. And Wrath, of course, will unfortunately not make top eight. So, now you'll be thinking about the rankings. So, interestingly, Shadow Galaxy will have got five out of seven of her picks correct. So, congratulations. She did absolutely fantastic there. Seems she definitely knows her stuff. Let's get into the rankings. That's why we're all here, right? So, let's get into the rankings. Okay, right off the bat, 
Rank 1, Misfire on 4 points. Rank 2, Shadow Galaxy Wolf, the highest you've ever been on 4 points. Rank 3, Squishy on 3 points. Rank 4, Zweistein on 2 points. Rank 5, Dan B on 2 points. Rank 6, Charging Badger on 2 points. Rank 7, Fury Card on 1 point. Uh, rank 8, Fridge Potato on 1 point. Rank 9, Apocalyptic on 1 point. Rank 10, Tamoose on 1 point. Rank 11, Doozy on 1 point. Rank 12, Stray on 0 points. Rank 13, Black Sabre on 0 points. Rank 14, Arian on 0 points. Rank 15, Animal Dragon on negative 1. Rank 16, Wrath of Cause on negative 2. Rank 17, Crowler on negative 2. And rank 18, Tail Sweet on negative 2. So that were all the matches, and those are the current rankings. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I'll see you guys all next week. I'm not sure who's going to be coming on to the uh, weekly matchup, but uh, it's going to be awesome. All right, see you then.